Syrians are celebrating the capture of the last square inch of ISIS territory. We're in Raqqa. This used to be the capital of the Islamic State. Under ISIS rule, these women would have likely been executed just for dancing with men. Today, they're making a point by doing it in public. But when the party ends, they go home to this. Raqqa was liberated almost a year and a half ago. Still, 80% of the city lies in ruin. Tens of thousands have returned, but rebuilding is slow. With the Islamic State wiped off the map, we came back here to see how people are getting by and to ask, can they recover from such a violent past? Remember, this was Raqqa under ISIS. Crucifixions, torture, and by the end, heavy airstrikes. And fierce fighting that killed at least hundreds of civilians. American-backed forces finally pushed ISIS out in October 2017. But 17 months later, people here are still counting the dead. Dr. Mahmoud Hassan is part of the cleanup effort. His job, sorting through corpses, thousands of them, to try and identify who they might belong to. We watch his team examine bodies. They're not taking samples or running DNA tests. They're looking for basic clues. Clothes, hair, gender. So how has the city been repairing and rebuilding? You keep finding new bodies, new graves? No. Always. go. But his idea, principle in people here. That's the real fear. That a lack of progress will continue to make this war torn city a breeding ground for radicalization. We visit Najwa and Muhammad, who lived here under ISIS and still bear the scars. They told us that their nephew came barging through their door one day to hide after stealing a bracelet. Islamic State police found him anyway. Has there been any support offered to you to help with jobs or help with rebuilding or help with anything to restart your life? Najwa and Muhammad are some of the worst afflicted here. And there are thousands like them, with few opportunities and no support. But it's not like people are sitting back and waiting for help to arrive. For example, the city's bridges are destroyed. So residents made these homemade rickety ferries to get by. It's clear that rebuilding Raqqa will take time, and the determination of everyday Syrians is moving the city in that direction, slowly. In the city center, where ISIS held public beheadings, gardeners are planting trees. A small sign of hope for the future. But is the world paying attention, and will people here get the help they need? <laughs> 